have a look at these fabrics is it even possible for a person to dislike this selection of colorful bright and bold patterned fabrics i know i know but i've been having a clear out i've decided to do a bit of a declutter in my sewing space and it's time to actually choose through which is going to stay and which is going to go so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you my best and worst and cara fabric purchases ever just for the sheer purpose of helping you to save money and time while selecting for yourself in the future. My name is Juliette Uzo of SoSoNatural.com where we work together to demystify the art of making clothes. You are absolutely welcome to my channel. So I'm sitting here with most of my Ankara fabrics. I'm going to start with this one here. This here is known as dashiki they're of a west african origin these dashiki sort of um tunics for men they're beautiful but i don't really like this one anymore because um <laughs> it's very generic and i mean the fabric is generic and you know you get to a stage in your life where certain colors don't appeal to you anymore that's the sole reason why i have classed this one as one of my least favorites i have this one here which i bought from i think i bought it from a market at deptford this fabric here i like the idea of it i like the print but the fabric is just too stiff i've washed it and it's i think the the stiffness of it it's really put me off and I just don't have any interest in making anything out of this one anymore yeah I just I'm not interested in it anymore and it's the that's the reason why I keep telling people to aim for and Cara fabrics with less starch I think there's some sort of starch content in these fabrics that get you know that get reduced after washing but this one's just refused to budge and I don't really care for it anymore. It's a nice color, I like red, but I do not see myself making anything out of this one, which is the reason why I need to give it away. This one here was actually given to me by a friend of mine who's now passed away, Ola. My friend Ola and I share a huge love of sewing and a huge love of Ankara fabrics. She's now passed, but um, she gave these to me, well, this and many more Ankara fabrics um, a few years ago. And the reason why I don't like this one is because it has three different colors in it. Not three different, it's got many colors in it. And it's just, I don't like the fact that it goes from one color to the other and then to another. I just like to stick to one color scheme and that's just the main reason for that. I'm not saying that you might not like this. This might be your thing or your style, but it's just my least favorite and I don't really care for it. I don't want to make anything out of it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this one here, I'm not really a big fan of. Contrasting um, and cow fabrics with all those colors is a thing, but it's just not my thing anymore. Um, this fabric here, <laughs> If you're from a big family and you're African, you probably do this as well and I'm not the only one. You probably take things from your family members and they find out about it when you've taken it. Well, this was one of those. And this was earlier on in my sewing days. I was obsessed with like collecting fabrics without even thinking about what I'm going to use them to make. This one here, I took from my mum. <laughs> <laughs> I took it from my mom and then she found out about it later on but now I don't want it anymore because the fabric is just poor quality and when she when I told her that I took it after I'd left she then confirmed that it was one of those okay so there's this thing called ashray B and this was supposed to be um, an ashray B she got for an event and she didn't use it and it just sat there in her wardrobe she didn't like the quality of it at the time I didn't know much about fabrics I just saw the color, it attracted me to it. I picked it up and um, brought it back to the UK. Turns out that I don't like it. So now I might be shipping this back to you, mum. I know she watches my videos, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Another one that I do not really like is this fabric. I know a lot of people might like it, but I just don't like it. And it was used during the Great British Sewing Bee. I used this to make one of my garments, the dance costume during Children's Week. 
it has sequins on it and I don't like it. The sequins are just a bit too much and I just, just for that main reason, I don't like this fabric. I bought six yards of it because these fabrics get sold in six yard portions. So I used just the part of it and the rest of it I was, I was allowed to take back home. I took it back home, but it's just been sitting here as a bit of a memento from my sewing bee days but I just don't see myself making anything out of it. Okay, so those are my worst and Cara fabrics and I'm going to show you my favorites. It was so hard selecting the ones that I love the most, but my the top of my list has to be this one here. If you remember the video that I filmed in the summer, of 2020 where I bought Ankara fabrics online you would have remembered this fabric this is my favorite favorite fabric because of its texture it's so soft it's so soft 100% cotton and I bought it online I love the pattern as well I love the colors and everything about this fabric just appeals to me and I don't want to cut into it yet but I feel like it will be one of my summer garments i'll be making something for the summer using this one i cannot wait but yeah another one that i really like is this one here it's got bird it's a bird pattern but i cannot for the life of me tell you what bird it is i feel like they're turkeys but um i really like this one just because of the monochrome well it's not monochrome really because there's two three colors white blue and red but i just love this fabric because of how minimal it is in comparison to other Ankara fabrics. That was what drew me to it. And so if you are someone who's minimal and don't like too many patterns, not that you don't like the excessive color of Ankara fabric, you don't like the boldness of it, then I would recommend going for small scale prints fabrics like this one here. Take some time out to search. You will find something that is for you if you are minimal. So anyone who tells you that Ankara fabric is a bit too um, extra and in your face and you prefer Ankara of minimal fabrics, tell them that it's um, possible to get Ankara fabrics that are on the minimal side of things. On to this one. I don't know whether to say it's because it was a gift from my dad. I don't know whether it's because of the colors. I don't know whether it's because of the funky nature of the fabric. I don't know, but I just love this fabric. This here has, oh, it just, I love the colors. I just love the marble. I think it's like a marble effect. And it just, oh, it's, Hmm, calm down I love this fabric I love it I love this one I've made a top out of it and the fab the the top I made out of the fabric is really revealing and <laughs> I just don't want to reveal too much so that top is just sitting there until maybe I might give it to somebody else but for now I haven't decided on what next to use this fabric to make but I feel like this fabric will be making a comeback this summer my next favorite fabric is this one here. But guess what? This used to be white. I put it in the wash and obviously you can see that this pink here bled into the white there and it stained it. I was so upset when that happened. I just, I don't know how to recover it, but I still think, I guess because at the back of my mind, I know that this is supposed to be white, like pure white. So that's really played on my mind. I'm so upset about it, and but then maybe one day I would make something out of this. I bought this one because I wanted to make a jumpsuit out of it, but now it's just sitting there. It's just sitting there for two years now. I bought three yards of this one and I've got something similar to it just because of the color. I like the shade of pink um, and I like the mix of green and purple and that's the reason why I bought this one here and it matches my lipstick. I see myself making a beautiful dress out of this one here. The other one would be for a jumpsuit. Maybe I'll still make the jumpsuit using that fabric like this one here because I'm the only one who knows that this is supposed to be pure white unless somebody else has the same fabric but I guess 
let me know what you think in the comments section <laughs> let me know um yeah i might just save it or maybe give it away or no i won't give it away because it's precious at this rate i feel like i might be showing you all my fabrics because they're all they're all so precious to me and i think they're all really really good purchases just look at that isn't this just so pretty i love this one here i love the floral design like these flowers just so beautiful i bought actually bought this in in london here i bought it at brixton um on the high street and this fabric i absolutely love because of the just the pattern and the shade of green and pink it just it's just so appealing to me and that's the reason why i purchased it i intend to use this one here for a dress this would definitely be a dress i'm thinking either maxi dress or a midi dress i've not made that final decision but um back where i come from and Cara fabrics they're precious and they're just like things that you keep and pass down to your daughters or your son's wives even though I won't be doing that because they're for me but I've grown up seeing my grandmothers my mom and my aunties having these as things that you actually pre you keep for yourself and for your family so it's it's just a tradition sort of thing when I see one that I really like I would buy it and keep it because I know that over the years it would appreciate or it will become valuable or it can be something that can be passed down you know generations and that's the reason why I've got lots of them plus I'm just a fabric nerd I just love fabric so sorry in addition to this one here I, I bought this here I bought this one here on my last trip this was from my very recent trip to Nigeria and I bought this one here just because of the color i love when the colors are used beautifully not when they look <laughs> a total mess no i just love beautifully used colors in ankara fabrics and the when the patterns are either geometric or floral and a sprinkling of minimal ankara fabrics here and there and my tip for you is when you buy ankara fabrics please ensure that you check or read the fine print especially if you're buying online just to make sure that you've got cotton fabric and not this polyester stuff that i've got here you want to also keep an eye on the full prints because like when they get folded when they get folded down like this you don't actually get to see the full picture ask for the full picture if you're buying online and if you're buying in store actually open it to see the size of the print just to get an idea if it's something that you would like to use or if it's something that you won't be interested in in the future so avoid wasting your money really because like some of these fabrics come with huge prints with that i'm going to leave you with this video here sharing with you my online versus in store and cara fabric buying experience all the very best take care bye